World War III, but France is gone. Cue the dancing crab rave. Now I know you might be wondering, how exactly would this change a World War III? Well, have you ever considered maybe this is what will cause World War III? I mean, if we just woke up one day and a nation like France disappeared, I'm pretty sure everyone would be in chaos. And for some reason in that chaos, everyone starts to fight each other and kill each other. Maybe France is actually the only thing that's holding humanity together. <laughs> no, but this will be interesting because now we have Iberia as an island, as well as Germany will have access to this crossing. There's gonna be a lot more naval things that happen in Europe, that's for sure. Possibly the biggest rival throughout history, the UK is gonna win this game for their buddy, or their kind of their frenemy, I guess is what I should say. Just look at these weird borders that have now expanded without the French Empire here. There's gonna be a lot of like invasions that are happening in this uh, French lake here. It's not even a lake, it's just, I, I don't even know what to call it. The French Sea. Yeah, see, there you go. Now we have Spain and Italy immediately starting to attack each other. And look at the weird board. It, wait, is Switzerland involved in this or something? I guess Switzerland is just kind of reaping the benefits. They're actually trying to stop. They're trying to, um, I guess, propagate their neutral propaganda. If their sea border stopped Italy and Spain from touching, then they would have stopped the war. This is also with the new World War update, which is cities. That's going to make a big difference here. Malaysia is taking out Brunei, by the way. Argentina has conquered Uruguay. Sweden doing a lot of conquering in the very beginning, too. Interesting that Russia is going after Norway first out of everyone. Spain and Portugal have formed a Iberian island alliance. Portugal is probably going to be focused on going to war with Canada. Meanwhile, Spain is probably a little bit scared of Italy. Germany has... Wait, Germany was taken out by the Netherlands. I thought... I thought Germany did like an Auschwitz. Austria's gone too. Oh, the Netherlands has also conquered Belgium. Wait, maybe the Netherlands are the most impacted by the vanishing of France. They've just gone into rage mode. China has taken back Taiwan and they're already about to eliminate Japan. They've gotten uh, South Korea and Morocco is struggling as they're facing the Iberian Union in their island. They were also fighting back Algeria. Alg wow, look at this alliance they've got going on. That's interesting. So far, the French Sea has been pretty quiet since Spain and Italy got into it. Surprisingly, the romance nations were a little bit feisty after their big bro got taken out. Italy is just friends right now with Montenegro and Bulgaria. And that is a new one. I have never seen Russia die this fast before. Who took them out? Belarus! Belarus eliminated Russia, surprisingly. And now we have this huge empty space. There's probably gonna be a power vacuum here. Or China's just going to eliminate everyone. I don't know. We have the classic rivalry between India and Pakistan. Alright, well that is huge because now the number one nation in terms of area is China. China, and then of course number two is still Canada. Kazakhstan of all nations has jumped to the fourth place biggest country. Now historically speaking like before the you know before like World War II and before France and Russia had a pretty good you know team work alliance thing. Well actually it depended it was yeah it's all over the place. I'm not sure but maybe Russia was you know really sad about France disappearing too. Who knows really at this point. Ireland's gone and now the UK is going after Iceland. The back of Chad's face is looking real weird. They still have the face part although that's getting eaten off by Nigeria and Niger. Again, another nation has fallen where Russia was, and now it's Belarus, so Finland's getting a bunch of territory. Also, the Balkans are just complete chaos, as normal. Uh, there's been five nations that have just died in a second. India has eliminated single-handedly Bangladesh, Myanmar. They're trying to go after Nepal and Bhutan, but that was not successful. Japan still lives, and they got a lot of Siberian lands, like far, far east of Siberian lands. Vietnam was able to hold back China for now, and they also got Laos out of it. Who is that? East Timor? Look at how good East Timor is doing. A lot of nations in uh, the western part of Africa, sub-Saharan parts specifically going down. Netherlands still looking strong and they're also allied to Switzerland and Norway. Honestly, I know it is kind of a meme and we're kind of joking here, but there is a difference happening without France. Okay, another nation has died. Now Finland is gone. So again, more countries. Kazakhstan is very quickly going to become the number one nation in terms of area. But no, I think that Netherlands, the Netherlands are having this good of a game because there is no threat now. Look at the, I mean, they're now allied to a lot of members. They're probably going to have to fight the UK soon. By the way, Kazakhstan has passed the USA as the third biggest country on earth. Another interesting thing to note here, Kazakhstan has almost as much economy as China does. That means if they got into a war, it'd be very close. Problem is, Kazakhstan needs some friends. They don't have any friends. The Netherlands now attacking Italy. Italy's trying to go around those Alps, but that's really difficult. They're actually moving through the French Sea to move around the Alps. Again, that's a... And they actually eliminated Switzerland because of that. They wouldn't have been able to do that otherwise. 
because obviously France was here. I don't know why the Netherlands has allowed Luxembourg to survive. Also, the UK does have a foothold. Greece looking very big. They've actually taken a pretty big chunk out of, oh, there goes the Netherlands. The Dutch are gone. Now look at huge Luxembourg. The British now have a really good chance of maybe getting a lot of land here. Maybe they can do something with this. Spain, Portugal. Wow. Spain and Portugal are pretty smart. Now they really only need to worry about Canada coming over from North America. I guess they do need to worry about a UK invasion, but down south, they're okay. Greece has taken out Bulgaria. Afghanistan is now gone. Chile has invaded their front. Normally, Chile and Argentina are cool in these games. Wow, this is so weird just because of the way the mountains are. Thing is, Brazil is cool with Argentina. Chile's got no friends. Cuba's made some uh, interesting coastal territory. They've gained in Florida and the Yucatan Peninsula. Japan has actually eliminated North Korea and they are dangerous. They just, oh, my, I can't even believe this. I've never seen Russia and China in this game get eliminated so fast. That changes everything now. And now Mongolia is kind of forming the Mongolian Empire. Meanwhile, we have Ukraine and Kazakhstan getting into it. Kazakhstan actually has some friends too. So now the number one nation in terms of area is Canada, then Kazakhstan, then Japan. What's going on with the USA? Oh, that's, that's what's going on with the USA. Uh, some, yeah, that's bad. Now instantly Japan is trying to get revenge for the Mongolian Empire. I guess, or on their Mongolian Empire. India is looking really thick. They're actually helping out a lot because Japan and Vietnam are actually allied, but uh, Vietnam got kicked out of normal Vietnamese territory because of Malaysia. This is so interesting because when, you know, like I've said in the past, when huge nations fall like that, there's like this massive butterfly effect. For instance, if the U.S. collapses right now, which might definitely happen, then Canada is probably going to get too strong. Mexico needs to either take all of the U.S. or they need the U.S. to survive, to be honest. The U.K. is getting even more of modern day Britain. Uh, meanwhile, who is that? Sweden? How did Sweden get that? Czechia is moving up through modern day Denmark. The wars between Ukraine and Kazakhstan have halted for now. Meanwhile, the Arabian Peninsula has just changed completely. We actually have a lot of smaller states getting a bunch of land. UAE, Qatar. How did uh, Uruguay come back? Oh, that's right. There's still rebellions. In the very beginning, I have rebellions on until a certain point in the game. We have a very thick Algeria that's actually protecting Portugal and Spain. It's actually kind of a miracle that these nations have survived for as long as they have. They just have so many threats from three different sides. Mongolia is looking massive, and man, they have some friends too. Kazakhstan and India, and they're both pretty powerful. Spain finally trying to get revenge on Italy, but uh, it seems like the front lines aren't moving much. Czechia is trying to single-handedly solo Poland, although Ukraine is trying to help Poland. This has become a new friendship out of uh, the last year, but it doesn't matter. Czechia has taken them over. The U.S. actually gained a little bit of land back from Mexico. It's possible the Japanese alliance between Vietnam and the Philippines is collapsing right in front of us. I mean, I mean, look at the people they have to fight. This is not even fair. Uh-oh. Spain is now fighting a double, oh no, Italy and the UK going after the Iberian Island. The thing is, Algeria is able to help a lot against the Italians in the Mediterranean, but there's not much help against the UK. The British can I think if they get to the, I think they're going to get to the island. They're definitely going to get to the island. They're now moving into Madrid. Madrid's nice in the center of the island, but it doesn't really matter. Oh, chaos has erupted in Europe. Okay, well, I think, did Italy just peace out of that? There was another war that broke out, but I think it stopped. Spain's still out here trying to fight for their life. Algeria actually died. Italy got the kill over Algeria. Number one nation in terms of area is actually Mongolia. We really are having a Mongolian Empire revival before our eyes. Also, everyone's attacking Czechia. So the Italians and the British, I believe are in an alliance together along with Sweden too. Yeah, there's like a 30 years war situation happening here. So they eliminated Czechia. They're probably going to try to take out Slovenia next. So the war between Ukraine and Kazakhstan. Again, Ukraine's got no friends. Kazakhstan can really catch up to Mongolia if they eliminate Ukraine here, which they're actually pushing pretty far in. Australia now trying to finally go after Madagascar, but Madagascar is being aided by the African alliance down here, taking in a lot of money. Actually, 16,000 gold is a pretty good amount compared to everyone else. Uh, that's definitely more than Australia. Economic wise, uh, Sweden is actually the number one country. That Ikea stock must be crazy. Sweden looks like they're literally doing the Great Northern War again. They got a lot of the Baltics. They're eating stuff away from Ukraine, which is what it looks like. Look at all these cities they have under their control. India was actually having problems against the little island of Sri Lanka. There's been like an island alliance with Indonesia involved. In order to try to stay alive, Slovenia has joined the Spanish Union. Now Greece is going after Ukraine. Greece is actually allied to Turkey, weirdly enough. And there's a big war for Brazil. Uh, so actually, uh, Peru has come back from the dead. We'll see if they stay that way. Maybe not. Oh, wait a second. What happened here? Spain just died? I thought I saw a Portuguese union. I don't know what happened, but uh, Italy has most of uh, Spain, which means this alliance is going to fall apart. This is a crazy team. This is, 
this is pretty, in I'm, I'm, you know, I know it's funny, France is gone, haha, <laughs> funny, crab rave dancing. This has caused a, a big difference, though, I'm just saying. At least in the continent of Europe, this is weird. The UK is aiding Iceland in their war against Greenland, but Canada is doing the same, trying to aid Greenland. Boom, India finally got the kill over, I think that was Vietnam. Oh, this is weird. Brazil and their rebellion, their successful rebellion, now working together to eat up all of this land over here. They're eating that stuff up easily. Argentina and Chile have actually weirdly put aside their differences. Uh, also, we cannot forget about the Falklands, which the UK control. So much of Europe is investing in Iceland and their war, but the problem is Canada and the UK, uh, the US, and even Mexico. There's literally a North American Union happening here. Also, Mexico has been really focused on taking out Central America. Mexico now has a new border with the uh, revived Peru. Slovenia has been destroyed by Greece. Meanwhile, everyone's trying to take out Portugal. Portugal was able to kick out the Italians from their islands uh, for the most part. Is this the end of Greece? It, it looked like it was going to be the end of Greece for a second there. Look, this is crazy. This is such a crazy team. Kazakhstan, Mongolia, and India. Now, these three powers, though, are actually slowing each other down, interestingly enough. Right now, they're teammates, but they're definitely going to have to break that at some point. Indonesia is basically gone. I mean, well, Indonesia is here, but they're not really at the same time. Well, this is actually Colombia. I saw the sea and just assumed it was uh, Cuba. Colombia has been banished to the Caribbean. They were fighting the North American Alliance. Oh, this is going to be interesting. So, yeah, Mexico wants the Caribbean and they want... Peru. These alliances are actually allowing a lot of these middle nations to really gain some power, but they got to go fast. Oh, Peru just backstabbed Brazil. That's evil. That is evil. All the while, they were fighting that war in Central America, too. Greece nearly destroyed Italy, but now Greece is distracted by Ukraine. Ukraine, I don't, it's a miracle they've survived this long because they've been fighting literally every single neighbor without any help, too. It's crazy. Is Iceland going to finally put this to an end? I mean, there's been so many people economically invested in this small northern war, which will have a pretty big impact if Greenland does fall. Okay. Okay, Mexico just united with the U.S. Um, they allowed themselves to get eaten. That now allows the U.S. a little bit more power. Uh, honestly, the U.S. is probably going to consolidate with Canada. Oh, I can't even imagine if one of these three come together. That's going to be too nuts. They're actually going after Iran and Tajikistan. India has now conquered Indonesia. Who is the strongest, I wonder, out of all these? In terms of area, it's Mongolia. But Mongolia is now trapped behind their two friends. Meanwhile, gold-wise, India has more gold. And it's actually not even close. So I would say India is probably the strongest nation on Earth. What the hell happened? What is this? Wow, so the U.S. annexed Mexico, and then somehow Colombia took that all over. That is crazy. This does make Canada a bit more powerful, though, since they got a lot of the Pacific states. Oh, man, and then I didn't even realize Ukraine took a lot of this stuff here. Greek, the Greeks have been pushed back. What is this nation? Libya looking super powerful. Didn't even notice that. One thing's for sure, without France here, things have been so weird. And is Can Canada literally just got destroyed. Oh, oh my goodness. I've never seen that. Colombia doesn't even control their home territory or just barely and then they just united with the dead Peru nation per okay overnight Colombia I think just became the strongest country yes they did and it's not even close they're number one by area they don't have the gold yet though they're also allied to almost all of the Americas too they just need to they're probably going to go after Greenland and help out Iceland here Portugal has a chunk of modern day Canada but Portugal is probably going to get eaten Ukraine pushing oh Ukraine took out the British and now they're going deep into Kazakhstan territory. Oh, Ukraine actually finally has friends now. Boom, Brazil's now gone. Was that a, was that a union or did Brazil just, yeah, they united. And then Argentina united with Chile. So there's definitely going to be a, another unification here. There they go. So our, already Colombia is attacking Greenland. These guys need to probably break their alliance or else Colombia is just going to, oh, you know what? I think they're going to start uniting, to be honest. The, there, there already was one. Uh, M Mongolia united with uh, the Philippines. Italy almost just got eaten there by Libya. Is there any hope for Australia? I mean, they're all trying to eliminate uh, Australia. There's really only a couple of European powers left, and it's it's pretty much just Ukraine. These are nations you're definitely not used to seeing as the top ones, at least economically or in terms of area. Iceland is just united with Sweden, and finally Portugal has been eliminated. There really is almost a complete monopoly over the Americas already by Colombia, and the Colombian capital still remains in Haiti. Funny enough, they, this is the economic center. Ooh, Ukraine lost a lot of land from a war against Kazakhstan, but they're still alive. Italy's still alive too, and they also have all of the Iberian island. Now, Sweden is trying their best to handle Colombia, but I don't think that's going to work. Colombians are also inching their way forward back into the old world by moving into Africa. They're also getting pretty close to the Iberian island. They actually have been stopped by Sweden and Greenland. Ooh, Kazakhstan took out uh, Iran. They still got this friendship though, and they're still kind of focused on Australia. Well, interestingly, Qatar actually
actually got their independence as well at some point. They were killed, as you can see from the age category. Oh, they might get killed right now. Ooh, they actually have also the power of alliances. Now, in terms of the alliance, what the heck just happened? I don't know why the alliance just disappeared. Oh, did that alliance disappear? Oh, India just got out of the uh, former Kazakhstan League. Ooh, that is going to be a problem, India. Now you have some two big threats right here on your borders and with Kazakhstan having all of Iran they can easily move in after the capital I mean I don't think Mongolia could do it because the Himalayas are protecting them Kazakhstan can definitely I think India got let back in I think they realized this is a horrible idea so yeah the alliance wise the Kazakhstan League versus us it's funny that this is actually under the order of Argentina when Colombia is so much more powerful it's really it's neck and neck Australia is trying to gain a little bit more power by eliminating New Zealand because they're they're trying to hold back the Indians coming down oh they lost it for a second there. Giant war for Italy. I think Italy has finally been eliminated. Libya now has most. Ooh, now Libya is fighting some African nations. Is it, Oh, there's, I mean, these borders have changed so much between Ukraine and Kazakhstan. And I think, I think Kazakhstan is just going to completely overpower Ukraine. Wow. They've survived for a little bit here. And without Ukraine, does that mean that Sweden is going to fall to Colombia and Greenland? Possibly. Mongolia just merged with India. So I guess India is not going to win this game. We are going to see a great Mongol Empire revival, I think. And and there goes Ukraine. No, not yet. Still not yet. Oh, they just merged with Sweden. Ukraine got so weak. They just were like, all right, take us. Here you go, Sweden. Big. Oh my. Oh, these wars are so huge. Libya was fighting both of the strong alliances at the same time. That's not even fair. New Zealand did the smart thing and just united with Australia. That's definitely the right move because uh, I don't know if you're ready for this. The Mongolians have figured out how to uh, not be eliminated by random typhoons and storms when it comes to their like naval invasions or stuff. The fact that our Argentina hasn't allowed themselves to be eaten by Colombia yet is a miracle. Problem now for Sweden. Ooh. Oh, so these guys are now working together. The, the center nations with Libya. Oh, the problem is Cameroon and Sierra, Sierra Leone are not fans. I think Angola is probably... Uh, Angola doesn't like it either. Ooh, now that might be it. Uh, see, these guys all needed to really work together. Tar is still around, but for how much longer, I don't know. Sweden's moved the capital to Iceland. Kazakhstan now has landed in the British Isles. They have London. They're trying their best to squeeze through economically. Look at how, how is that even possible, Kazakhstan? How do you have that much money? It's, it's so much more than Mongolia. It's not even close. So right now, the alliance is only being allowed to happen because Kazakhstan is letting it happen. Uh, I don't know. Does Colombia have, Colombia needs to do something. Colombia did, ooh, Colombia just got backstabbed by Argentina. Oh, okay. I, I knew you should have united with them way sooner. Colombia is now just friends with Angola. Qatar just got eaten by Libya, keeping Libya alive for a little bit longer. Literally, everyone's going to have to come together to defeat Kazakhstan. They're so powerful. Oh, Argentina is about to run out of money. So, Colombia should eliminate them, I, th I think. Unless, of course, uh, Colombia runs out of money. No, they still got some money. Oh, but Colombia's fighting this war against Sierra Leone. Ooh, wow. Libya is being attacked on from all sides here. Unfortunately for Mongolia, they just cannot eliminate Australia. Australia has Madagascar. Argentina is sending a lot of aid to Sierra Leone because they don't want uh, Colombia to keep fighting them. Colombia is still number one in terms of area, even though they are actually actually losing stuff and now they're beginning to lose a lot of stuff Ooh, colombia just i think they took angola and all of libya over meanwhile sierra leone united with argentina down to five nations someone's gonna eat australia that's for sure oh, there's actually an oh there's a new alliance kazakhstan is allied to colombia so when does mongolia mongolia has the best chance of taking out kazakhstan the problem is mongolia has got no money but they're very close to that capital of course uh kazakhstan's gonna move it to eastern europe probably Ooh, look at the iberian island perfectly split Split like this and again only a thing because France is not here I'm just saying it, it's not just for the memes this was actually a detailed and fascinating scenario that is not Mimi at all. World history experts ask themselves this every day. What if France wasn't around? There it is. Finally, Kazakhstan and Mongolia getting into it. So there is kind of a two-way team. Oh, this is the World Alliance. There are two alliances. So pretty much these are probably going to be the teams till the end because I think Mongolia might annex Australia or maybe that'll be Sierra Leone. I'm incredibly impressed with how powerful Sierra Leone is. Mongolia was barely able to push the front here against Kazakhstan, but you know what? They're moving a lot now. This is definitely the problem. You need to keep yeah keep aiding mongolia that's uh, australia is going to be the economic powerhouse oh australia is also doesn't have that much money either sierra Le leone literally ran out of money oh it's over oh my goodness uh, as soon as i said that leone has run out of money they've run out of money again it's over so that is gonna mean that the entire world is going to
to fight Kazakhstan, I think, which is probably what they have to do. They still have so much money. They're running out of a lot of it, though. Kazakhstan was not giving Sierra Leone enough, I think. They should have aided them way more economically. And now, Colombia is now invading Australian-controlled Madagascar. Interesting. Kazakhstan is now cool with Mongolia again because they're, I think they feel threatened by the new land monster that is Colombia. They've come back. Colombia, I think, is a paper tiger, though. I, I mean, they do have some money, but I don't think they're going to be able to hold on to this. Oh, they've they broken the alliance again. Mongolia broke the alliance. Once again, now they've got it back. Mongolia is just trying to figure out what's best for them. I mean, they remember they remember the good old days of the Mongolian Empire. They have the experience. They're playing the field. They're attacking. They're allying. They're backstabbing people. They're, they're doing what they need to do. The country is always in the center of the map. They do have problems. In Kazakhstan, this is not the place you want to be, to be honest. I actually have no idea. I mean, it's either going to be Colombia, uh, Kazakhstan, or Mongolia that wins this. I feel like Mongolia is honestly kind of a sleeper. They are fighting Australia right now, though. I still don't know who's going to annex Australia. I mean, it's possible Australia wins, but I just, I can't see it. I, there's no way, right? It's possible, but there's no way. Someone's going to eventually eat them, I think. I think. Mongolia does not watch their economy. It's over. And then Kazakhstan locks the win in, I think. Colombia still hasn't been able to eliminate Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone is still giving up a lot of cash. Oh, man, they're so close. They are so close to that capital. Oh, my goodness, that money flying in. That This is where the game gets decided. Honestly, this front line, this is literally Battle, battle of Stalingrad right here. Mongolia has almost no money. They're being aided a lot, though. They are like a couple pixels away. I don't even know where the uh, where would your front lines be? You're cool with Colombia, but maybe they're not trusting of Colombia. Oh, finally Sierra Leone's gonna collapse. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? The war? There's been no war so far. It's definitely the craziest World War Simulator video I think I've ever done. I think the world just invested right now in this war. I think Mongolia just wants to keep a Sierra Leone alive for as long as possible, just to be that thorn in their side. It's gonna be so hard to drive through those Andes Mountains though. Kazakhstan has now almost completely ruined their entire economy. They lost their capital for a second, but Kazakhstan got it back. So Kazakhstan has automatically moved it to Iran. Sierra Leone has maybe the best economy in the world because people were giving them so much money. Yes, that is true. And I thought that that million, that million gold uh, vaults that Kazakhstan had would never get uh, drained, but I guess it, it can. It just gave it away, I think. Again, Australia is surprisingly a, been a pretty nice ally for Mongolia. Oh, there it is. Okay, Australia did got just got eaten. So I, I figured that was gonna, that just took so long. Now Mongolia Mongolia is looking really, really strong. This is probably going to come down to Colombia versus Mongolia now. When will they squeeze through? It looks like they're going to begin to start squeezing through this passageway. Kazakhstan is going to allow themselves to get eaten. Uh, more than likely, Mongolia is going to take more and more land, and then they're going to give up once they lose like half this stuff to Colombia. More than likely. That's probably what will happen. Right now, economically, Colombia is doing the best. Also by land area, too. Oh, Colombia is backstabbed Kazakhstan. Okay, so I don't really know who's going to eat up all of Kazakhstan. Okay, I guess they did. Uh, so eliminated overnight, Kazakhstan was, and it now just comes down to basically the final two, even though Sierra Leone is still here somehow. Mongolia is the strongest fighter. They can push usually Colombia back, but uh, this is going to be their biggest downfall. But never thought I'd see a video ending with Colombia versus Mongolia for world domination as Mongolia completely collapses. Man, how many times they get to move that? They kept moving it down the Korean Peninsula and then into Japan. I guess this is the world that you get when uh, France just isn't there. Who would guess the entire nation of Colombia is being held down this much by some random European nation? And big thanks to my patrons. I am the kidnapper and I've moved Drew to a Patagonian um, village. Australia is real. Drew's I'm not a paid Argentinian actor. The grandpa. slow depressing Drew Portugal Drew collapse. Colorful Asher. Asher. Right. Right. Carl S. S. Reagan's the Emma Emma Colonel Ryan. Ryan. Fresh. Jack I'm Trayon almost managed to friend. escape the imposter. Robert Robert Pai. Kids. Best girl. The great Polish. The wicked. Why is it real Drew? Pay his imposter. $20.